Welcome back. Once again, we will be making a game in Stencil Works, and today we'll be making a physics game using the original content Do Not Steal that we made in the last episode. So, to start things off, we're going to make a blank game in Stencil Works. We're going to name this uh, physics game. Physics game. And once we've done that, we're going to make a scene, and we're going to call that scene a physics game. Now, we're going to go and make our player using the player graphics we made. We should call him a player. We're just going to go ahead and browse for the graphic we made earlier in the last video. Rem uh... Click the annotation right here to go to that video. Thumbs up, favorite, subscribe. Make sure you watch it a few times. It really helps us out. Send money. Oh, hold on, I just have to find this. Um, Blob, can you entertain them with a song and dance? I think Justin should have a part at this point from being silent for two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, at this point, we have our actor in. Okay, we're going to make it so this actor is affected by gravity, so he can fall for the physics. And, uh, we're going to give him circular cold... Wait, no, that's a terrible idea. We're not going to do that, that's a terrible idea. Uh, we're going to give him his running animation, have we done that yet? Yes. Okay, well, he has his running animation... Um, so now we're going to import a tile set using the original tile set we made last episode. What should we call it? We should call it grass. Because it's grass. And also a box. No, the box is now an actor. Alright, now we're going to make a, a box actor that... That is going to be part of the physics game. It will play a crucial role in the physics. Okay, now we're going to make a behavior for the box actor. We probably, and, we probably want to disable gravity. Yeah, we want to disable gravity, even though this is a physics game. Yeah. Okay, it's all good. We're going to add a behavior so that when he's created... Wait, when hold he, on, what, what category should the behavior go in? This behavior should be motion, because it's going to be a motion. Okay, what should we call it? Um, fly right. Okay. Okay, and we're going to make it so when this actor is created, he sets his X speed to like 500, so that he flies right very fast. And then we're going to then, then we're gonna attach that behavior to the box actor. Now we're going to make a behavior uh, that when the mouse is clicked, the box actor is spawned at where the mouse clicked. This is this is going to be this is going to be eye candy. We're going to name this click box. It's funny because it's like kickbox, but it's click box. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Oh? What? Okay. So, let's, let's, so now, so now, Irock's just going to make that behavior logic. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and say if some some cha cha um, my, we're just going going to go into mouse. Mouse was pressed. Always, if mouse was pressed, scene switching. No, scene no. scene actor create the box actor. Box actor at cursor. How, how do you spawn something at the cursor? I don't know. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the user input, Wait, go to the mouse. mouse. 
What? Yeah. Where? User input. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll just spawn it at the X and Y of mouse at the <coughs> front when mouse is pressed. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, Justin. Justin. That's Justin, by the way. Justin is not a professional programmer. He is just a casual user, and it is very easy to figure out things like that. Pro pro programming knowledge is not required. Not required. So, so once that's been done, we're going to go back to our scene. Wait, oh, wait. This was we're this is an actor behavior, an accident. Okay, well, Iraq's just going to change that to a scene behavior. That's, that's physically impossible. You can't do that. I Iraq's going to copy paste that into a different scene behavior. Okay. Well, it's an AI behavior at this point. Okay. Locks clicking. Now, Stencil is so intuitive that it allows you to copy and paste using various menus. Isn't that right, Blob? That's right. Okay, we just went ahead and created that. Alright, now we're going to add physics variables by making two rectangular actors that are affected by physics. What should we call them? We should call them vertical box and horizontal box. Make sure these can both rotate and are affected by gravity. Um. Okay, we'll just create the second one. Just import the graphic here. And now we're going to import our original music that we made last episode. If you didn't see that episode, please go watch it now. Thumbs up. Click the annotation right here. Click, click the annotation right here. Send us your children. Um, we'll just go ahead and import this. Sinselworks makes it easy to import things via intuitive windows. Our music... Yeah, our music plays. Okay. And now we're gonna go back to the scene. Oh, wait, we need to make a behavior that plays the music. Okay, uh -huh. using, using the box clicking behavior, we're gonna make it so that music starts playing when the scene is made. Okay. We'll just loop it. Remember to loop it. Yeah, remember to loop it. Now we're going to go into the scene designer and design it so that there are physics in place with the blocks and that our player is on top of the blocks and the objective is to shoot a physics box that will spawn very fast to the right which will knock the physics blocks over and that will be the game. For a little, it's time for quick tips. If you what? hold, if you hold shift, you can snap to the grid. This is this useful. Man. Yeah, this is useful for actor placement. Yeah, this has been oh, quick man. tips. We'll, quick we'll just, tips. We'll just go ahead and be creative with this. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna fortify this entire thing. Okay. And we'll want to place our player at the top, is that right? That's what we're going to want to do. Okay. We're doing that. Okay. Okay, now that all is said and done, we should have the proper setup for our game. So let's test the scene and see how it works. We probably want some gravity. Probably want some gravity. Gravity should be five. <clears throat> should we test the game now? We should test the game now. Okay. So, so I rock's testing the game now, and he's going to click somewhere on the screen, and it should spawn a block that's going to fly to the right very fast and knock over the block that we placed. This. We have an uh, issue. Oh, what? None, what is of, none of the actors are colliding. Um, We're just going to okay. go. Yeah. Rock's going to fix that issue. I just fixed the issue. Okay, debugging is extremely easy, and SensorWorks is innovative platform. No programming knowledge required. You just need to click buttons. Let's just press test scene. 
And now I rock's gonna do what I just previously said, and the game should play out as intended. I'm currently playing the game right here, it's really intuitive. Yeah! And what you should have just witnessed is a fun game made in Stencil Works in a very small amount of time with completely custom content and also using the power of Box 2D's physics engine. Basically, a very polished, very technologically advanced game done in minutes thanks to Stencil Works. See you next time. Be sure to hit the like button, favorite, tell your friends, uh, subscribe, really helps us out. We'll grant you your wishes. <laughs>